Hi, and welcome back to Grassroots Crypto, where I like to teach people about crypto. On the eve of the multi-chain Castnet launch, I wanted to go over how to access ThorChain when this happens. There will be an amazing four ways to access multi-chain Castnet, and in this video, I'll be going through each one of them and doing a comparison on, uh, on each way to access it. So be sure to watch the video all the way to the end, and don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, links to everything will be in the description below. Right, so first let's get some understanding. On the left hand side here, we had single chain Calsnet, where we uh, use BetSwap to access ThorChain. So like there's a bit of a distinction. Most people think, oh like BetSwap and all this in itself is ThorChain. ThorChain itself is the automated market maker and it doesn't kind of like, you can separate that in a more form, formal way to say, well, that is the, um, like I said, automated market maker and then BetSwap is a way that you can access ThorChain. So this is gonna be then changed over to four different ways to access ThorChain in multi-chain Chaos Net. Um, I'm gonna be going through each one here. And just to give this a bit of analogy, um, whilst this is a very extremely oversimplified and somewhat correct analogy, if we have a look at Uniswap, um, Uniswap has a web layer and the actual you know, automated market maker logic and stuff like that is inside the smart contract, which runs on Ethereum. So like this is ThorChain in, in itself and this is how to access ThorChain. Um, and then obviously you have a web, uh, like a web free wallet there. Um, whereas that's kind of like similar to this process, except the wallet is also embedded in these interfaces here. So these interfaces will send information to ThorChain. If you're not already aware, they um, they send memos. These are the transaction memos. And this is how these interfaces connect to ThorChain is by sending specific commands. So yep, there's like three Asgard Xs um, and then a ThorSwap. So it is a bit confusing. Let's go through it all now. First, we have Asgard Exchange. This is the first one that got created I think in like November last year when multi-chain uh, testnet was first launched. Um, and this is, is a very nice and simple interface. You can connect your wallet via um, Keystore. So if I go over here and go connect, um, you can create a wallet, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna connect via Keystore. So I got that and enter my password. You know, I guess what that is. So here we go, I can swap um, for any one of the tokens that I have. Obviously I don't, you know, some I don't, I don't have any tokens for. Um, don't be confused by the list. There are some some test ones here. So like generally it's going to be, you know, bnb.bnb or thor.rune. Um, so it's going to have like chain.asset type thing. And then, you know, you can swap one for another. So I might decide to swap a little bit of rune for, um, you'd have to put in like yeah, your manual amounts here. So point, like I don't know, 100 rune, 200 rune is going to give me that much BDC. I click swap confirm the swap and I'm good to go. Let's wait for the transaction to be completed. Cool, I can do a Thor Explorer. I can look at the pools. These are the pools I'm in. I can add liquidity uh, there. I can upgrade runes. This actually has a little bit of a warning over here to upgrade rune, which is pretty cool. Um, I've got a bit of bit of rune here at the moment, so I could easily um, upgrade you know, a thousand rune or whatever I have, and then upgrade rune here. And then that's gonna change it from bnb.rune to uh, thor.rune. And then this is reflected um, in my wallet. If I click there, it's gonna show me my wallet and I can you know, access my address. Um, I can copy that. I can have a look at what I have here. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's just, yeah, so ASCAD Exchange, it's, it's, it's nice. Um, nothing 100% nothing wrong with that. You can check your uh, slippage tolerance. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can use that to obviously get in do swaps, um, add to pools, stuff like that, and then go ahead and uh, disconnect, which I quite like. So all the all the major features there, including upgrading of your room. So just with this one, um, like seeing my transactions aren't necessarily the easiest. It's gonna take me to a block explorer, I think, to have a look. So like seeing what your previous transactions are are not necessarily gonna be the easiest. But do like you can sit there, copy, send, deposit, that type of stuff um, for for whatever assets you have. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, go here, go 
there. I can go send. I can't actually deposit there, but I can send that out to somebody. So that's pretty cool. Right, so that's that's Asgard.exchange. Um, not too bad. Next, we're gonna go have a look at um, Asgard X desktop. So here's the Asgard X desktop. I've got this running um, on my computer locally. Uh, it's the latest version. I oh, wait here. So everything I'm using here is the same Keystore wallet. I'm just gonna go ahead and attach my one uh, again. So these are all the assets I have. So first of all, I really like this wallet. Like this just shows me everything I've got, particularly because of groups of buy asset. I, I do like that. I have an upgrade function here, which is cool. I can go ahead and upgrade um, a thousand um, of my room. So this one runs on the, uh, as this is the desktop version. This will be available in a releases folder off GitHub. It's my understanding. So if you're, you know, you refer web, for desktop, that type of thing, it's gonna be up to you. Um, you can go over to, again, your wallet and you'll see that um, there's been a change there. I've got a bit more rune here, native rune. Um, what else? We've got the pool shares. So this will show me what positions I have in a pool. Uh, it has bonds. So if you're a node operator, you can put in your nodes here, which is really cool. Um, something special for node operators. If I click this one, it gives me all of the actual addresses in one spot, which I really do like, I've got to say. Um, uh, pools, let's go to pools. Let's go and add um, to, let's go swap actually. Let's go swap and get some Ethereum. So I'll swap and get some Ethereum. I've got a bit of, um, here we go, a bit of Ethereum. So you can do swapping, you can do pooling. You can do withdrawing, uh, that type of thing. It's got some pretty good um, pretty good functionality for viewing transactions for sending and receiving uh, assets, which I'll show you in a second. Finish so you can view the transaction there if you really want. So that got done. If I go back to um, my wallet, then my Ethereum balance should update. Sometimes you have to press the refresh button a fair bit, um, but I know there are a few, few issues raised on that. Um, Okay, I guess that's that's still happening, development version. So we, what else we've got? So you having a look at, actually, sorry, my wallet. If I go to my wallet, um, I got a Bitcoin here and I can go send, uh, has, has all my uh, self like transactions, which I quite like, I can send that off to somebody. Um, obviously I've got the address, I can then receive the address there. And I've got the transactions as I said, group by asset, which I, I do like uh, a fair bit. Right, so that's that's enough for that one. Uh, for four, four node operators, you also have the part where you can like set your own memo and this type of stuff, um, which is kind of good for uh, interacting with ThorChain. As as um, said, it's all done by memos, so that's that's really cool. That's the Asgard X um, desktop. That's going to be running on your desktop, so it's not a web interface, um, but lots. It's, it's very feature rich. Uh, has night mode. I forgot to have a look at night mode. Asgard Exchange doesn't have night mode, but this does have night mode if, if that's what you're looking for. Um, also, you can sort by uh, types. So that's, again, pretty cool. Base being, I think, native assets. Um, and you do BEP2, ERTC20, so on and so forth. Next, we have Asgard X, or also be known as Vanaheim X. Uh, this is a fork or a copy of Asgard Exchange. It's my understanding. So it's kind of like a nice little theme on it, Neo theme. Um, so we can connect wallet, connect to existing key store. Um, I'm using the same key store here. So this is pretty cool. It's got a um, detector that I have old room or BNB room. I'm not saying it's old room. So I can do an upgrade here. So again, I'll do a thousand. So that's pretty cool. And this is the third way that I am. You have to confirm it as well. But this is the third third way that I, third time I'm upgrading my rune here, three different ways of doing it. Just make note of that. It's pretty cool. Um, so you can go ahead, I can swap. Um, I think this is the one here. So what I, which shows you what you have. So I can swap some rune, I can swap some room. Let's go ahead for some, um, what do I want? I want some BCH, I'm gonna swap a thousand rune. Or some BCH, that is a massive, it's testing, so maybe it's so much, but it's massive. Um, 
Head and room for some BCH. I'm going to confirm that. So we can do swapping. Uh, pooling on this is not currently available. This is in active development. Whether or not this one will make it in time for multi-chain chaos net launch, um, I don't know, to be honest. Look, you've got some other things. You've got your wallet here, so that's pretty cool. You can see your all your wallets. Um, copy, you can uh, look at your pending transactions, look at previous transactions. And look, what I've noticed, this doesn't seem to go back to ThorChain as much. It records it locally. Whereas um, I think I'll show you with, with um, Asgard X, here, it, it shows me like all of the transactions. Do you, do you know what I mean? So I've done way more transactions than two. It's just that I've done two within this interface here, but I've done, I know I've done way more than that. If I go back to here and I go to my, my wallet and I go to Rune, I like these are all the transactions I've done um, over the last few days. So much more than, than, than what it's saying here. So that's the difference, but then again, this is again, testnet, testnet, not yet out. So again, disconnect, you can do that. You can do settings, slippage tolerances, look at your seed phrase, that's pretty cool. And then you can disconnect. I do hear that there is a mobile interface coming or uh, on the way in development. So that's kind of like what it's going to look like in the same type of theme here is the Vanaheim X. So keep an eye out, um, lots of good stuff to come, but I just want to show you the, the this is a screenshot, um, but this is, uh, from what I understand, on the way for uh, mobile usage. Next, we're going to get to um, ThorSwap. So ThorSwap is a fork or a copy of um, BepSwap. Just change that back. So we all know and love BepSwap. So the people behind ThorSwap have taken BepSwap, changed it around, made it multi-chain instead of single chain and then um, delivered ThorSwap, which is pretty cool. So if you like BepSwap, if you, you're used to using BepSwap and, and, and all that type of thing, you're gonna obviously um, get a lot of enjoyment and, and ease of use out of, uh, out of ThorSwap. So it's the same process here. We, we've got a um, key store. It's always the same key store I'm using in this video. Um, so now that's connected, I can view my wallet. It shows me what I've got here. I think the wallet features in like Asgard are a bit easier to see in one spot than the pullout, but this is nice and easy quick draw. So it depends. I mean, like, are you want to see like all of your wallet like this, like laid out, or you want to get a quick reference? It kind of depends. If you're like, I'm just going to get in quickly, do some, do some liquidity adjusting or whatever. Um, I'm not sure if that's a real term. <laughs> just go in and go add swap liquidity real quick. Yeah. Four swap looking good for that. I can go have a look at, uh, I can swap some BDC. So I've got some um, rune here and I can select, I've got my, my four rune and then I can receive some BDC, put some bid in. So it's got the drag and stuff like that. So I've got about 3000. So I'm going to get this amount of BDC and then go put in my password and confirm that that's pretty cool. And then swap. I guess swap and it's done a little bit of ironing out there i think i can add liquidity if i wanted to add liquidity no um understand it's going to get there it's just not a hundred percent there to add liquidity but you are able to swap so it's another option what else do you look at transactions these are the same transactions as what you would see um over in over in Asgard X, so this is pretty cool. Same transactions here. Um, what else? What else? You can click on the actual assets. Um, so if I click this one, I can copy the uh, address here. I can have a look at the address. Um, I can send rune somewhere, this type of thing. Forcebot doesn't appear to have an upgrade function. So it's probably the only one I know of or that I've tested here that I can't upgrade my um, BNB rune that I know of. So you'd, before you use ThorSop, you'd want to upgrade your rune to uh, Thor.rune. So there's four different ways of doing things. We've gone through the Asgard Exchange. We've gone through the Vanaheim X Asgard Exchange, which is really a, a copy of this Asgard X and then got a different got like look and feel over it. We've gone through um, Asgard X here. This is the desktop. Um, desktop client, which would be available for you to download and run. Uh, that's really cool. And then we've got um, we've got ThorSwap, which is a 
copy or a clone of um, uh, BetSwap that's been updated to, to cater for multi-chain castnet. There's a bit of a comparison. Let's go back to our Visio. Um, we do, well, this is the location for it and I will be putting all of this inside of the description below, but the comparison I put together for it, and I believe this is correct. So night mode, um, Asgard X and Fun Hunt X. Then we say create every, all of them will create a wallet. You can see the wallet. You can upgrade your rune for all of them, except for Thor swap. Um, copy addresses, which is pretty good. Don't think Vanaheim X was able to copy your address. Uh, let me go back and check that. All right, and the power of um, <laughs> filming. So we've got, um, so we're able to copy addresses through all of them. We're able to see the transactions, I think on all of them, but Vanaheim X, whilst I can see the transaction was only specific to that particular platform. So I can't judge it what it's going to be like at multi chaos net launch. I can't really because you know there's always going to be updates and evolution. There's wallets aren't or, or these applications are never going to be completed as such. Um, add to pools. You definitely can't add to pools on Vanaheim X at the moment. Whilst I didn't do it on Force Swap, from my understanding is he can do it. Um, just I probably don't know how to get to it yet. Um, so that's that's obviously seeing the pools, adding the pools, withdrawing, and all. Just about all forget the wallets except for Thor swap. I couldn't uh, find a way to actually black press forget wallet like you can currently do on Bep swap. And lastly, none of them hide the values. So the um, Asgard X did have a um, a feature to hide values, but I think um, I did find a, a defect in there and now it's disappeared. So um, if you're looking for that feature as well, that's probably something you might have to wait a little bit longer on. So that was a very quick uh, analysis and run through of Asgard X, um, Asgard Exchange, Phantom Hymix, and uh, ThorSwap. I hope you found this useful. Uh, which one do you like? Which one do you, you leaning towards? Again, like the features of them are, are very similar. It's not like I could say one's better than the other. It really depends on what you like, what um, position you're in, what you're trying to achieve. Uh, they all pretty much, I think by the end of it, be able to do all the same things. Um, it comes down to user preference on which one you want to use. And I like that there's a variety. I like there's different ways and entry points for ThorChain for users. It just allows more adoption for more people to access ThorChain in whatever way they want. And whilst I've detailed four here, um, there might be more uh, ways to access uh, ThorChain in the future. Um, it's not going to be restricted in any way to these four. Just a last note, um, as I picked this up in the Clubhouse uh, podcast, Asgard X is the, I think the first, probably about the only um, multi-chain open source wallet there is. So the ThorChain team was out there looking for something like this, didn't see it, had to create it from scratch. A lot of kudos to the ThorChain team and it uh, looks like another first for them as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like this video, click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button to see more content like this. Happy to see what uh, your thoughts are and what you like the best. And uh, until next time, thanks. Bye.